It appears that the Black Templar characters are crossing the Rubicon Primaris like no tomorrow. First we have the Emperor's Champion, then Helbrecht, and now this nice new plastic sculpt for Chaplin Grimaldus. Hello and welcome back to Horsebets Tactics for another nice new miniature reveal. Today we're looking at the new and revamped miniature for Chaplin Grimaldus of the Black Templars and his Cenobite servitors that accompany him into battle. It is pretty much an entire range refresh on the Black Templars army. All their three unique characters have been redone in Primaris form, as that big 40k leak suggested that they might. And it's another miniature from the Space Marine back catalogue that's finally out of resin finecast. I must admit though, the previous miniature for this guy was a really good one. It stood the test of time far better than many others. So for those who aren't aware who this is, this is Chaplain Grimaldus of the Black Templars. He's a reclusiarch ranked chaplain of the chapter, and he's perhaps most notable for being the hero of Hell's Reach Hive, one of the major hives on the war-torn world of Armageddon, where alongside the allied Imperial defenders, he led a force of just a hundred Black Templars to stall endless waves of greenskins that really should have overwhelmed the hive easily. Him and the few remaining Black Templars fought until the temper of the Emperor Ascendant collapsed on top of him, though Grimaldus did himself miraculously survive the collapse, and now he's accompanied into battle by a trio of Cenobite servitors, who carry some holy relics pulled from the wreckage of the temple. He's about as archetypical as a Black Templar as you can get, an angry and zealous chaplain, who's not adverse to smiting the foes of the Emperor himself in close combat, and inspiring his battle brothers to do the same. Miniature-wise, he's really quite similar in style to Helbrecht. They really haven't made all that many changes to the model, but just basically reimagined him as a Primaris Marine, slightly bigger and chunkier, and of course in nice plastic as opposed to resin. Other than the increased scale, there isn't really all that much that gives him away as a Primaris. Maybe the different pattern of backpack and plasma pistol are most obvious bits, but most of his livery and adornments, and even the style of his croziers, are basically the same as they were on the previous miniature. If we compare him side by side to his previous version, you can basically see that not too much has changed between the two. A much bigger scale and bigger base, but otherwise largely quite similar. I'll be honest, I do really like his classic sculpt. I'm not really sure they've done all that much to improve on it, to be honest. I must admit, I would have put quite a lot of other Space Marine characters ahead of him in more needing of an update. These are the reimagined versions of his Cenobite Servitors. Apparently they carry the Scepter Anointing, the Banner of Fallen Crusaders, and a remnant of the Fallen Temple. Really quite nice that these guys are still included. I think it would have been a shame to lose them from the one version of the miniature to the next. Currently they're really quite a useful unit in game in 9th edition. They're really cheap to include in the army. Can provide you a little bit of protection against mortal wounds, but just feeling the niche of being a really cheap little unit to do actions and grunt work can make these fun little models well worth being included. Obviously they could function fairly differently in the new codex, hopefully they're still well worth taking. Overall though, I think he looks like a really quite nice unique Primaris Chaplain, and I strongly suspect he's going to be on pre-order from November alongside the codex release. I suspect price-wise maybe somewhere around £25-30, to £30, likely to be a bit more costly due to those servitors and we're going to guess somewhere around 40 to 45 US dollars perhaps. Probably going to be a bit more than most characters, as you get 4 miniatures rather than 1. Finally, before we talk about rules, I'm sure plenty of people will be noticing that he's one of the first Space Marine characters in a really long time not to have a heroic rock to stand on. He's actually standing on his own two feet for a change, without anything else to increase his stature, or make him look any taller than any of his fellows. Rules wise though, at the moment Grimaldus really is quite a strong Black Templar chaplain, and personally I think he's well worth considering in competitive lists. His litanies aren't quite as reliable as a Master of Sanctity with Wise Orator to cast them on 2+, but he still gets to cast 2 litanies without having to pay for the extra Master of Sanctity tax, and he also comes with a powerful free combat aura of exploding 6s to hit with near Black Templar core units, for the points he can be crazily efficient at making one squad stronger in melee. On top of that though, he also gets to deny the Witch Wands as if he were a Psyker, Purity in the Emperor seems like it's rewarded, and he's okay in a scrap himself, with a Relic Crozius that's AP-2, and a Plasma Pistol for a little bit of range threat. At the very least, the Primaris version should get the plus one attack and plus one wound. I think unless they change his special rules too much, he's still likely to be a very good option for Black Templars. We'll have to wait and see for the Codex though, as they haven't given us any previewed rules yet. So let me know what you think of the model. Is it better or worse than the original? And let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, where I'll certainly be keeping up with any news of Games Workshop's releases, and I'll review the Black Templar Codex in full once it's out. It'll be interesting to see how their rules are changing, now they're finally getting a standalone codex again.
Finally, if you have been enjoying the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that down in the video description. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, including seeing new videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways, with a chance to win some really big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, then the link is down in the video description. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.